DW Flame got into some passer with Adam 22. He decided to walk off one time because Adam 22 said he had uh, bad bitch energy during a podcast, which obviously DW Flame didn't take too well. And then DW Flame the next day came back on No Jumper on the live show, walked in. Obviously, guess what? Adam Twenty Two wasn't there. Shock surprise. And he let it be known what he's did, what he's you know what his problem was with Adam Twenty Two, and why he didn't like the whole bitch bad bitch energy thing. And I think he made a good point. He makes a lot of several good points on here. And I'm gonna let the clip play, and I'm gonna interject and give you some of my opinions. So this is DW Flame goes off on Adam and says, "Fuck No Jumper." I definitely agree with him on that. Let's play the clip. Hey, that's crazy, right? When we that's talk that's about that's it. That's it. That's this gotta be up, scripted. This gotta be nothing. scripted. What's up, Kev? Hey, yo, big up Zan, big up, by the way, big up Zan Princess. Big up fucking Zan Princess. Yeah. <laughs> yo, hey, the Josh, universe you, is universal. Where, where Adam at? Adam here? Uh, yeah, tell cut to come in here too. I'm gonna like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna get this shit straight right here, cause all that weird shit, all that gay shit, bitch shit that niggas be playing, I don't play that, cause if you gotta do that type of shit to be at no jumper, nigga, fuck no jumper, 23rd Street, nigga, Oof. I don't play that, nowhere. I have never, never let a nigga play like that. I only left yesterday, cause I was off that henny. I know how I get. What I just on say. On 23rd Street. What I just say. I'll be on bunk skunk in this motherfucker on insane crib. You don't play with niggas like me. You play with niggas like Big Sad, niggas who snitching like that. Niggas who, you play with bitch ass big, niggas like that. You don't, sad, you don't play like that. I ain't, I don't, I don't know about nobody else, but I don't need no jumper, nigga. Oh, that's and that's right. the, that's the truth. I've been booming before no jumper, nigga. Right. Being had shows on, right. being cracking, being a nigga. Oh, on twenty yeah. third street, I ain't a nigga who let nobody talk to me crazy, nigga. I'm really like that. I'm insane, crip, nigga. Mm. I'm insane. I come heavy everywhere I go. If I wanted to blow up, ain't nothing in the building could have stopped me. Nobody, nigga. Security, nothing. I'm insane, crip. I shut shit down for real. That's the difference, though. That's the that's the difference. I don't play like that. I don't play with the gay community. Mm. I'm not gay, so I don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? And <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love that how Adam 22's inability to modulate himself and this need for content over everything where he wants to basically, because he obviously said that bad bitch energy thing to get a reaction out of DW Flame. So clearly he got what he wanted. But I don't like the fact that how he refuses to take any accountability for things that he says. He thinks he can live in a world where he can say what he wants and no one should ever be pressed by it. Not to the point of wanting to physically attack him or walk out. You should always be... Uh, you know, there's no limit to what somebody can say to you to your face and it's fine, which is interesting because, you know, the last time he was on one of those shows and I forgot who that guy was, the bald black guy was saying some mad shit to him. Adam 22 walked out. So clearly people have limits. But for some reason, Adam 22 thinks on his show, on his channel, he can say what he wants, poke people, try to get them to react a certain way. But if they react with violence, if they react with aggression, he then starts to mock them and act like they can't use their words. It's like, no. Some guys don't want to use their words. Some guys don't just, you know, just don't play with certain things. And you have to realize pretty quickly, especially as a dude, I think maybe women kind of deal with it differently. But I think as dudes, you realize pretty quickly who you can joke with in your friendship group and who you can't. Don't get me wrong. It is sometimes annoying if you have a friend in your group who can't take a joke. Everyone's getting cracked on. Everyone's getting ragged. Everyone's getting kind of dissed and stuff. And you've got this one friend who if you say one thing to, he fucking blows up. It's annoying. I get it. But... You know where they stand though. You know what they're on. So it's no surprise if they do go crazy and try and crash out or try and fight you. You're not surprised. So DW Flame, if it's me, and again, I don't know much about the guy. Um, I don't know much about his music, I don't know much about him as a personality, but it's it'll be pretty easy to read someone like that and see, okay, this guy doesn't really take too well to these type of jokes and then just do it to somebody else. It's not that difficult. And the other thing I want to say too, on top of this, No Jumper was never that kind of place because I think he says somewhere... Who do you say it to? I think in this clip, maybe later on, there's the assertion that Adam 22 is saying where he wants to make no jumper now to be the place of like that white boy, you know, gay humor joke thing, content side of things, and also a mix of the hood shit. But it's never been that weird content, that weird joke stuff anyway. No jumper was never a place where people just do like edgy jokes for the sake of doing edgy jokes. It was just like a fun, informative channel where you got to watch interviews with up-and-coming artists, established artists. And also when they started doing live shows and podcasts, you got a chance to kind of meet the co-hosts, to get to know them, 
have their have them share their lives or react to certain com news on the fucking you know certain topics on the news but it was never like oh here's a place where you're gonna get edgy gay jokes and shit it was never that place so the fact that he's turning it into that by himself is weird and as a leader lastly as a leader this is also evidence why the original cast of oh no why the the previous cast left because adam don't adam doesn't operate like a boss he operates like a co-host because why are you trying to tease or poke or provoke your host or your employees when you're the boss why are you doing that why are you trying to do that why are you trying to get a reaction out of them that should be left to the other co-host maybe that's their job or maybe somebody underneath you but you as a fucking founder a leader or owner of the company why are you doing that it's such an odd thing but again it's evidence of why the other crew left because the other crew left because guess what adam 22 wanted to gossip and talk about an other employee to another employee and then eventually the other employee told somebody else and then it kind of got out and it got blew into some other thing but that's proof that adam 22 is a terrible ter like he might be good at making a business because he obviously did bit, you know no jumper and they're super successful and they're still around now to this day that's obviously evidence but he's definitely not a good leader he's definitely not a good manager he's definitely not a good people person um, I would go too far as saying that I don't even think he's that great of a content creator. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think No Jumper's got to a point now, like, if Adam22 stepped away and wasn't on camera as much, I don't think you'd notice. I really don't think so. I think they've got enough shows, enough hosts, with enough personality that they could just keep it going. I don't really think it needs Adam22. Like, he's not that in he's not that integral to the success of the channel, in my opinion. So I find all this stuff bizarre, odd, and weird, but it makes me happy to know that I made the right decision not continuing to watch no jumper content because I don't watch it at all. Apart from the clips I see on the Reddit, I don't watch this stuff at all. So I'm happy I did because, you know, it's a whole shit show over there. That's why even I have my own show now because that kind of separates me from having to play like, so much yeah. with niggas. I don't, you know, yeah. and I understand certain shit like niggas play like that. That's your, that's how y'all play. But I ain't never, have you ever, have I ever played with you? Uh, any of y'all? But that's what I said when you left. I'm like, some like niggas, that. some yeah. niggas like, play, like, some yeah. niggas yeah. don't. Cause like hey, yeah. even in jail, even in jail, you can play. Even even with him just saying, he's he just, all he was saying is I think niggas supposed to hit me up. To to let me know where we going. That's what he. But anywhere anywhere around the bitch where I'm like, my brothers and yeah. it wasn't here because my brothers be like DW because you oh, doing too much. It, they know I'm about to do too much. Yeah. You know I what I'm saying? It too. I didn't want to. I didn't want to reach across there. I, yeah. Adam, I know Adam. Cause like Adam, we be chilling. Cause I ain't want to reach across the table, slap the shit out you. Cause. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that DW man. You should have done it. I would have loved to have seen DW grab Adam Twenty Two by the scruff of his fucking shirt and just slap the fuck out of him. Oh, that'd be so gratifying. I think Adam Twenty Two is way in need of a punch and a slap more than academics. I want to see Adam Twenty Two get slapped up way more than academics. I swear to God, way more, way more. Yeah. I'm insane. I'm a gangster for real, cuz. Twenty third Street, like bro, like I'm insane, Crip. So I, I kind of like you know just chill. Even when I left, I wasn't mad. You definitely got to get some chapstick on those lips, though. No homo. You definitely need some Vaseline or some or some fucking what's that? What's the brand I've got here? You needs a bit of a. You needs a bit of a burst B on those lips, my friend. That's from that's from raging. When you're angry, sometimes your lips dry out. Do you know what I mean because you're fucking spitting out all the hate for the white man because you're like you're hating yourself for being employed by one and ha needing his money or not needing but getting paid by him and you're also fucking just furious that you didn't do because the worst thing for a man is to be involved in some sort of altercation and you don't do the thing that you would have done in your head and then you're thinking about it the next day it's the worst you're replaying it. you should have said oh, i should have done this i should have said that to him and then he would have said that to me and i would have done that and i want to do this it's the worst thing ever so DW spent probably spent 24 hours just pacing up and down his house, pacing up and down, pacing up and down, like, fuck, fuck, fuck. And that sort of stuff makes your lips dry. You know what I'm saying? I'm just like, because I don't play that. You that breather. You had to take a lap, because. I don't play that. I know me, DW, though, because I'm saying I get to turning up on everything. I'm saying okay. crib. And the last time I, every time I go off my, my instinct or my, my first thought, nigga, I end up 
in jail for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's why no, bro. niggas <laughs> like, oh, EW should have shut up. It's a bunch of more. Ain't no, ain't bunch no, of mark I, ass I, niggas I, telling me what I should have did. Nigga, I only say crap. You niggas ain't like never did nothing. That's a narrative. Yeah. You should have did something to Adam. Oh, you should have. Oh, I you should have been like, nigga, you wear bombs. See, I was going to explode right off back, but I know Adam is a, in this case, he's a fool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He said he's gonna slap up Adam. I want to see what Adam has to say about this. He said he would have fucking no. Sharp is living well, isn't it? Yo, a hey, hey, church, church, church. You know, Sharp is living well. He's got that. He's got that glow in it. He's got that fucking eating well tummy in it. Sharp is living well. The jewels are still on. The chaps are heavy. The the watch is bussing. The shades are dark. The drink is the cup is always filled with a drink. He's got that good fucking cough syrup brand on. Sharp is living well. Yeah, church. You know what it is. Church. You know what it is. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah. Fool, <laughs> fools don't know no better. Yeah. But did you think he will, he wanted something from you at that moment? Who, like, it Adam? was all staged to Oh, uh, yeah, no. Nah, I don't know what the fuck. And you know me. I sit, for the he most is. part, guys, I sit back and chill. He like, as soon as he said he about to say something, I'm like, cut, don't do that. too calm. It's I like, said, don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Right I before it. he said I that. Heard it. Yo, Zan Princess, I love you and stuff, but you got to shut up. When when Mandem are talking, Mandem talk, you got to shut up. Like, you got to shut up. This is probably why women get annoyed when guys get in girls' business. Like, when the Mandem are talking, just shut up and, you know, look pretty and just sit there and just nod or disagree if you want to in your head. But please, shut the fuck up. I pointed that out earlier. I said, he, he said, say I said, I don't do that. Uh, I just told you, don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah. since I don't, like, when Adam get here, it's going to be the same energy. I'm going to say the same shit 23rd Street, nigga. Oof. I'm always saying, I wish you was here right now. I didn't come in thinking you wasn't here. I was going to holler at Cub being here. Dog, I was just that a super chat to ask you to do a little sharp Rob impression. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's good, church? Church, you know what it is, you know? Uh, <laughs> what's his other phrase? Um, call Dago, call Dago. <laughs> big up NJ Ranger, big up NJ Ranger. Because me personally, I would say I'm one of the most respectful people on the whole podcast. Ain't one person got Uche, into it. With me. Exactly. One person be like, nothing. I went Saint Crip, nigga. Adam, what? what's up? Cause I ain't got no clips. A CEO podcast up. I ain't Saint Crip, my nigga. Uh, what I'm gonna say? On London, my nigga. Huh? On fucking Canning Town, my nigga. On Custom House, my nigga. Huh? On Newer, my nigga. Huh? On Dawson, my nigga. On Hackney, my nigga. On Brixton, my nigga. <laughs> on Nasty Crew, my nigga. On Deja Vu FM, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> on Grime Daily, my nigga. Huh? On GRM Daily. I knock the shit out of y'all. Up or nothing. Everybody else shit going up. What's up, cuz? I always say my shit going up without niggas posting my shit and all that. What's up? On 23rd. I'm no. trying to figure out what is what's really going on. I always say crip, cuz don't play. This I'm a real nigga. You don't fuck with a real nigga's character. You you got you got bitch ass niggas. You got bitch ass niggas on who sitting at home on a blow up mattress. Thinking they could, you could get somebody killed from thinking they could play with me. You get oh, what I'm Robin. saying? Oh, I could go outside, outside and a nigga think because he seen no no Jesus. jumper and nigga play. You see who? Jesus Christ! Get someone killed, yo. DW was mad. He he did not like that fucking. He did not like that fucking bad bitch energy joke at all. He did not like that at all. You could get someone killed. Fucking hell! In the chat, trying to be funny right now. Man, his career. Uh, oh, bro. Bro. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm just saying, though, because, like, oh. Uh... Yeah, big up Ricky Pitcher on beans and toast, exactly. On beans and cheese. On beans and cheese, my nigga. <laughs> on salsa on the cookie, my nigga. <laughs> huh? Salsa con cookie, my nigga. Huh? Salsa e cookie, my nigga. <laughs> 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 on hamburgers, on on hamburgers, e queso, my nigga. Huh? <laughs> on patatas fritas, my nigga. Big sad, big sad. I already man, big sad. You crushed it. No, look, no disrespect. On Princess Diana, on Pim's cup. 
<laughs> Big up Jared Mellerick on fish and chips, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, no, this is on milk. Exactly, pick up your vibes on milk. <laughs> on milk, on milk, my nigga. <laughs> on wig, on weird, my nigga. Huh? <sighs> on any facet, my nigga. <laughs> Respect, <laughs> no disrespect to the PBGs, to the hood that Big Side used to be from, but Big Side ain't never seen so many ARs on Cadillac, Ooh, nigga. On, he ain't never seen so many niggas outside on Cadillac. Put Let's chill out a bit. Let's not incriminate ourselves. Let's get. Let's not get a Rico. Let's not get a no jumper Rico on our case, my friend. Let's not end up like fucking, you know, Casanova two times because he kind of reminds me of Casanova two times. But let's not do that, my friend. Let's let's just rein it in. Let's rein it in. Let's not talk about ARs and ARs and and other semi-automatic weapons, please. Patrolling your shit hey, like y'all. St- come on, hey, 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 hey. you still on? Yeah, TV. shout out to my niggas though yeah, from PBG. Oh, yeah. Shout out to my niggas. I- Okay. Anyway, you get the gist. You get the gist. Um, I hope DW Flame slaps the shit out of no out of fucking Adam Twenty Two. Are they actually live now at the moment? Let's see if they're live because I would love to see what the what the static is like. What's what's the what's the vibe like? Are they live right now? Yeah, they are. They're, no, they're not live. Cool. They're not live. They're gonna be live later, but we'll check it out later. Anyway, let's move on. 